Star Wars The Last Jedi will have yet another force back vision for Rey in this film. This is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. I thank you also very much for the kind support. So, today we will be going over new details of the force back vision sequence in The Last Jedi. And one thing that we have learned about this sequence is that they will be borrowing certain elements from the Force Awakens novelization. And in case you guys have not read the Force Awakens novelization, when you look at the Force Back Vision scene, there's a lot more detail involved in this that was not shown in the actual film, The Force Awakens. So, The Last Jedi will be borrowing some shots and some ideas from this. So I'm going to go over what is actually in the book of The Force Awakens when it comes to that Force Back Vision scene. So, let's get started. The box was not locked. She opened it. A heavy, slow, mechanical breathing filled the room. Turning, she found herself looking down an impressive hallway, its architecture reminiscent of the old empire. Peering harder, farther, she saw in the distance a section of the famed Cloud City. Two figures were locked in combat, distant, distant. Someone, somewhere, some when, spoke her name. Hello, read in the irrationality of the moment. She called, hopefully, but received no answer. A boy appeared at the end of the hallway. She started toward him, and the world turned inside out, causing her to trip and fall, onto the wall which had become the ground. Not the adamantine ceramic she had just seen, but dry grass. Nearby, a lightsaber slammed into the ground. A missed thrust, a statement of power. She didn't know, couldn't tell. A hand appeared to pull it upward. Day became night, sky ominous and filled with rain, cold and chilling to the bone. She was standing, she was sitting, she was looking up to see someone, a warrior, take the full force of the lightsaber. He screamed and fell. Battlefield then, all around her, putting a hand to her mouth, she rose and turned. As she turned, she found herself confronted by seven tall cloaked figures, dark and foreboding. All armed, soaked and shivering, she stumbled backward, turning as she half fell. Firelight illuminated her, firelight from a distant burning temple. The seven vanished. A sound made her turn, and she blinked in surprise at the sight of a small blue and silver R2 unit, a new figure appeared, falling to his knees. He reached out to the droid with an artifice of an arm, metal and plastics, and other materials with which she was not familiar. She blinked and both were gone. Around her now, barren, snowy woods, the sound of unknown forest creatures, and a conviction that she must be losing her mind. Once more she climbed to her feet, her chilled breath preceding her, from in front of her, not far away, came the sounds of battle, the cries of the wounded, and the clashing of weapons. Then behind her, another voice, that voice, stay here, I'll come back for you. She whirled, glazed eyes desperately scanning the dark gaps between the slender trees, trying to penetrate the darkness. Where are you? She started running toward the voice, I'll come back, sweetheart, I promise. I'm here, right here, where are you? No response. She started forward again, running, only to be brought to a sudden halt by a figure appearing without warning from behind the tree. She screamed and screamed again, and fell backward, backward, sitting hard down. So as you can see, that little thing that I read for you guys from the official Force Awakens novelization of the Force Back Vision sequence, they will be borrowing elements from the novelization, and it really makes one question. Who was the boy? Exactly, who is speaking to Rey in the snowy woods when, you know, this person is saying, I'll come back for you, sweetheart, stay here. Who is this? Is this Kylo Ren? Is this somebody else? These are questions that will be answered in The Last Jedi, so I'm very happy to hear that they will be borrowing elements and ideas from this very given point in the novelization. So guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section, 
And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. Thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Yeah.